I was honored when my squadron was selected to come to the United States. Here at Williams Air Force Base, Arizona, we were being taught to fly jet aircraft, the first group of pilots in the Vietnamese Air Force to be trained to fly a jet. We spent long hours in the classrooms learning theory and many more hours in the air putting this theory to practice. When our advanced flying training was completed, we began fighter weapons training. We spent more than eight months in the United States training to fly, service, and fight with this great aircraft. During the flight back to Vietnam, I thought how impressed I was by so many things in the United States. I was most impressed by one experience rare to the Vietnamese, and that is the experience of peace. How I remember that great day, the day the United States gave us our first jet aircraft. They call this ceremony the F-5 turnover. Leaders from our allied countries came to Benoit Airfield for the occasion. As the United States Ambassador Bunker said, the Vietnamese Air Force is the supersonic fighter. One might say we became a modern air force once we acquired jet fighter aircraft and the men who were expertly trained to fly and service them. In a battle between our ground, the few minutes saved in getting to our target makes the difference between victory and defeat. Five Jet was the first of the modern aircraft to be added to our Air Force inventory. This enables us to react immediately in deterring the enemy's constant savage attacks against our people. inflicting severe blows against the communists fighting in our land. Recently, we received three new squadrons of the jet attack bombers, the powerful A-37. superiority will continue to grow with the addition of the latest jet aircraft, helicopters, and support equipment available. This is helping us to carry more of the burden of this cruel war.
We have come a long way, but not without sacrifice. I have lost many friends in the struggle. we have had, it has been air power that denied victory to the enemy. Many personal dreams and ambitions have been sacrificed, but war and sacrifice are inseparable. And we believe that we are helping to fulfill a greater dream. 